Welcome to the channel, welcome to Blue Chelsea TV. Hope you are having a wonderful day. In this video, we will be talking about Mount Crisis and the consequences it will bring on the potential signing of Caicedo. We will also look at Duan Richards, who signed for Chelsea from Phoenix as he joins a pool of young talents in our academy for the future project. First things first, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos. Turn on the bell not to miss a single update from the channel. With that being said, let's break things down in the simplest way possible. Chelsea have been dealt a major blow to their hopes of signing Moises Caicedo this summer. The 21-year-old midfielder faces an increasingly uncertain future at Brighton, with numerous top clubs said to be chasing his signature. We understand that Arsenal submitted two bids for the Ecuador International in January, but both were swiftly rejected. Then, in March, Caicedo penned a new long-term deal to keep him at the Amex Stadium until 2027. At first, it seemed as if his extension would rule out an exit in the near future, though that doesn't seem to be the case with Chelsea expected to make a move in the coming weeks. We understand that the Blues hold an interest in the Ecuadorian, although they're aware he could cost a significant amount. Arsenal have been prioritizing a move for Declan Rice lately, but the prospect of the Gunners revisiting a deal for Caicedo has always loomed over Chelsea, especially with Manchester City now said to be in the race for the West Ham captain. As for Manchester United, they've been briefly linked with the midfielder ever since the Seagulls snatched him from their grasp 18 months ago. The Blues once looked well positioned to land their primary target but a spanner has just been thrown into the works. According to the Times, the Red Devils have withdrawn their pursuit of Mason Mount in order to focus on other midfielder targets, ironically, one of which being Caicedo. On Friday evening, Chelsea rejected a third bid from United worth £55 million. The West Londoners replied by demanding £58 million up front, in addition to a further £7 million as add-ons. Despite the Blues' best efforts to drive a hard bargain, the Times claim that Eric Ten Hag's side have been left unhappy and there is a belief at Old Trafford that the club were being overcharged. Now, United look set to rival Chelsea for the signing of Caicedo, whose arrival was widely expected to be funded by the windfall of Mount's departure. According to CBS Sports, Chelsea will make a big push to sign the Ecuadorian, who is keen on a move to Stamford Bridge. The report states that a deal worth £80 million, plus £10 million in add-ons, appears possible. CBS Sports outlined that those close to Caicedo insist that he shouldn't be going for anything more than what Real Madrid paid for Aurelian Tuamini, £86 million, last year. The pressure is now on the Blues to wrap up a deal otherwise Todd Boley could upset Mauricio Pochettino. Chelsea have already missed out on Manuel Ugarte to Paris Saint-Germain this summer. The Uruguayan was largely believed to be a key midfield target for the former Tottenham boss, but the French giants managed to lure him to Les Parc de Princes. With preseason just around the corner, the Blues cannot afford to upset the apple cart this early into Pochettino's tenure. On to other news. Chelsea have announced the signing signing of Duan Whisper Richards. The Blues confirmed that he will join the club at the start of next season after he turns 18, having fought off interest from Aston Villa and Newcastle with the player even having a two-week trial at the latter in February. According to Craig Butler, who runs the Phoenix FC Football Academy in January, Richards signed a pre-contract agreement with the Blues earlier this year. Butler, the adoptive father of Aston Villa and Jamaica star Leon Bailey, took to social media platform Instagram to announce the deal with Chelsea. Richards has been with Phoenix for the past five years and recently got a call-up to the Jamaica senior team for games against Trinidad and Tobago in March. His first start came in the second clash with Trinidad and Tobago and he then completed 90 minutes against Qatar earlier this month. Following those appearances, Richards has now been selected by Jamaica for the upcoming Gold Cup. The teenager had even attended a Newcastle game, the match with West Ham United at the start of February, but but pen to paper on an agreement with Chelsea as initially confirmed by Butler. We are grateful to Chelsea Football Club and look forward to the continued relationship and partnership with our academy as we prepare Whisper for the Premier League, Butler wrote on Instagram.
On a personal note, Chelsea FC was my boyhood dream club and I'm so pleased to have one of my players built in the furnaces of the Phoenix at Stamford Bridge. Thank you to the staff at Chelsea, especially Joe Shields for believing me two years ago when I told him that I was building the top talent, Duan Whisper Richards. Richards made waves in Jamaica when he bagged 31 goals and registered 19 assists for Phoenix last season. He is familiar with his new home, too, having played against Aston Villa, Sheffield United and Crystal Palace in academy games while he has also been on the books of Brookhouse College in Leicestershire. Richards, from Port Royal in southeastern Jamaica and who has an English grandmother, recently declined a lucrative approach from a Middle Eastern club according to Chronicle Live. Richards' physicality and pace could prove to be a major boost to Chelsea, with the player expected to develop more, given he is only 17 years of age. To finish things with a bonus update, Kai Havertz has offered an update on his current movements after finalising a £65 million move from Chelsea to Arsenal. The two London clubs had been locked in negotiations for a number of days before an agreement was reached that will see him move from Stamford Bridge to Emirates Stadium this summer. Real Madrid likely kicked off interest from the Gunners as Carlo Ancelotti's side initially identified him as their Karim Benzema replacement. Initial conversations sought his asking price discovered which is when Mikel Arteta then proceeded to make his move, with Havertz very open to the move across the capital. The 24-year-old has struggled since his £75 million move from Bayer Leverkusen in 2020 with his best position still mostly unknown just under three years later. For the 2022-23 campaign, he was played at the tip of the Blues attack but he managed just nine goals from 47 appearances. With Chelsea needing to balance their books and sell numerous players to fix any issues regarding a bloated squad, Havertz is not the only name to depart. Exits for Khaled Okulabuli, Hakim Ziyech, Edouard Mendy and Matteo Kabakic are close while N'Golo Kanti leaving has already been confirmed and Havertz sent a message to his old teammate on Saturday. The Germany international wrote on Instagram, was an absolute honour to play with you and all the best in the future, we understand that Havertz is due to undergo a medical overseas this weekend and, assuming that everything goes to plan, he'll become Arteta's first signing of the summer. Ahead of those tests, Havertz has been spending some time with his old teammate Andreas Christensen and Kavakic, who has already had his Manchester City medical. On his social media, Havertz was pictured with that duo as he captioned the post Three Amigos. That's where we wrap up things. If you love the video, give me 100 likes, turn on the notification bell for more future updates. If you are new consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later on with some more amazing videos. See you then.